In XPO, from your account dashboard, click the Quick Launch button to let you quickly launch a campaign. Type in a campaign name. Select the channels you want to advertise to. Here, I will opt for all three to create a cross-channel campaign. This is where you set your campaign objectives and its KPI amount. If you're running a social or a search campaign and have an account, link your Facebook and Google ad accounts to XPO. If you're running Facebook campaigns for credit card offers, loans, job listings, real estate, etc., please select special ad categories as it is a restriction from Facebook and goes through a separate approval process. If not, select the default general option which covers all other ad categories. Here, I will opt for the general category. Next, we move to the scheduling section where you can set your time zone and set when you want to start your campaign and end it. In my case, I want to start immediately. Select your targeting options like languages, geolocation where you have the option to include multiple locations and exclude a few too. Also, strategize targeting your ad messages at specific time slots or directly opt for all days or even just working hours. Turn on automatic budget optimization to let our AI engine to automatically allocate budget and optimize the campaign for you. Something you will find extremely handy and convenient while still achieving your goals. However, for this purpose, I will opt for the manual mode so that I can show you how you can set your own settings and have control. So let me set a budget and a daily budget cap. Next, I'll also have to adjust the allocation to the different channels something that our AI engine would do if you have turned it on. You have the option to apply a bidding strategy to all ad groups at campaign level and once the strategy is set here, it will be applied for all ad groups and to all channels. I will opt to set the ad group bidding strategies individually instead. Turn on footfall attribution if you're running campaigns for your physical stores and wish to track the store walk-ins. Do note that there is an additional charge as indicated in XPO that will be charged to your campaign to use this third-party service. As my current campaign is not for physical stores, I will not be using this option for now. Next, key in conversion goals or set up one for your checkout page or booking confirmation page details if you want to track page conversion performance of these campaigns. Management fees is applicable if you are an agency and want to charge additional fees for your services that you provide. Once done, click Next. In the next step, we shall set up one or more ad groups. Ad groups is where you represent the strategy you want to execute. Give it a name. Select the type of ad group. XPO lets you run your campaign across seven key advertising channels to run your ad message. Here, I will opt for Display. Schedule it and key in targeting details like audience, segments, geolocations, where you can import a geo list as well. Once done, key in the ad group budget cap. Remember, this budget cap is always lower than the campaign budget cap. Here, XPO automatically calculates the daily budget cap for you based on your total budget cap. Usually in XPO, if you'd want to learn more about a specific field in the dashboard, just hover your mouse above that field for more details. You now have the option to select details like impression cap and pacing strategies at this step as well. Set the ad group bidding strategy if you didn't set it at campaign level. You have the choice between automatic or manual. Here, I will opt for the automatic one to let XPO set the best bid at the best price. Now, you have an option which lets you save the campaign and ad group without creating the creative by just ticking off this button and saving the details. For my current campaign, I'm clicking Create as I would like to create the ads in the same flow. So, click Create. From the Creative Dashboard, create either a new creative for your ad message or select an existing creative and link it. Here, I will create a new one for my campaign. XPO supports a number of ad formats. Name your creative and select the type of creative based on your ad group type and strategy. Key in necessary details about your creative such as creative type, creative information like desktop or mobile format to optimize the creative and the size of your creative accordingly. If you intend to show ads in countries such as China and Russia, that will require a special approval process which may take between 1-2 to two days. I will opt for worldwide for this campaign to exclude China and Russia. 
Now, the destination URL refers to where you want your users to go when they click on the ad. Next, embed supported third-party ad trackers and finally, click Create New Design to create your creative. You will now be redirected to XPO Designer where you can curate your creative design. After selecting your template design and keying mandatory details for a successful campaign creative design, click Publish and save the design. You will now be brought back to XPO Creative Dashboard. Once you click Publish, the campaign becomes active. 